Join me in a full cabin tour of the deluxe inside stateroom 10165 above Celebrity Edge. And what's Amy's issue with the plugs? There's somebody at the door. Oh, welcome. Come inside. We were just about to begin. And here we have the piece de resistance to start with. Our amazing bed. Now this looks incredible. Look at these pillows and cushions. I feel like royalty. <laughs> <laughs> they knew royalty was coming, so they got it all out for me. <laughs> so we've got two pillows each there and two little cushions as well, which I guess we could transfer to the chaise lounge when we're not using them, which is quite nice. And we also have, which I don't think we've ever had in an interior stateroom before, a chaise lounge. Hanging out, chilling, watching a bit of TV, that kind of thing. If you come over here, you'll find some storage space under this. Oh, I love the aesthetics of here, it's just so beautiful, isn't it? With a lamp, little ornaments. One drawer. Another drawer. I love the fact they're split as well, it's really clever. That's three split big drawers. What's in here? It's a fridge, mini bar. It is stopped, though this isn't included in the drinks package. So if you take any of this, you will be charged. So be aware. Little vanity table here. Little chair. So Mademoiselle can do her makeup in peace. <laughs> nice full length lit mirror as well, which is pretty funky. This is a charging box, so it comes, you can close that when not in use. And then when in use, I assume these little holes here for the wires to come through. Yeah. Which is really clever. Actually, later on, we found out it wasn't very clever. Okay, this is ridiculous, right? Very cute little box. We have these little holes to put your things through. But my hairdryer... Well, you can't because it's blocked. How am I meant to blow dry my hair? Okay, you have a design that is stupid. So we've got two USBs, a two pin, and I'm not sure what these th two are in the middle here. I don't recognise these. It looks like three pin UK, but I don't think they are three pin UK. Well, obviously they're American, Nathan. A little waste bin on the floor there. Should you need to dispose of any rubbish on board? I'll be sick. I'll be sick. Bye, mm -hmm. Nathan. <laughs> um, a Mahusiv TV which again one of the biggest i've ever seen in an inside stateroom don't you think yeah definitely so big not really watching a lot of it because we'll be out to explore the ship there's also a little stool as well which is here which hang on oh it's a storage one so you can put stuff inside there too okay I'm not sure what you put inside here maybe dirty clothes you? maybe wash them for you me i could probably fit in there to be done we've got a lamp which works, which is good. A little cubby here. A middle cubby. She goes back quite far. Oh, get right down. That's quite far back, that one. Another lamp, which also works. We have some light controls here. A American plug socket here. Two USBs here on Amy's side of the bed, of course. Telephone, should you want to ring anyone on the outside world. And also some extra cubby spaces. Again, no drawers on the side of here, but it's okay, we'll live with it, you know. First world problems and all that. And here, we have a wardrobe, which seems okay, I guess, to go here. I mean, it's a bit close to the bed, I think, myself, but, there is plenty of hangers in here, as you can see. Oh, they're good hangers as well. Not the ones you have to link into the holes. They're actually proper hangers. Makes life so much easier. We've even got a couple of Celebrity Cruises robes. Should you, you know, maybe we should go to the spa or maybe after taking a shower. Oh my goodness. An umbrella. It's an umbrella as well. So <laughs> cruise umbrella. So should it be raining outside? I guess you can use this to keep you dry as well. 
quite funky, isn't it? Then we have some space here, I guess for shoes, maybe, bags. And there's this weird contraption here, which I'm not sure what this is for. A little bit of storage space up here as well. We have our safe. As you can see, there was enough room in here for a couple of mobile phones, passports, keys, wallets, and purses. And, oh, here's some drawers. So, one drawer, two drawers, and the third drawer. So all in all, there's a fair amount of storage space, I'd say, in here. Yeah, I don't like the... Um... The high up hangers. Yeah. Yeah? Well, not so much high up, it just feels like, for example, if I was to hang a dress there, it would be like yeah. half, if that makes sense. So you're gonna have to put uh, only maybe. It's probably gonna be my stuff up here, like my shirts and stuff, I imagine. Yeah. And then your stuff on this side. Yeah. So we discovered these little cubby holes um, a little while after we did the actual tour. So we've got a little cubby hole up here, which is hidden away next to the wardrobe. And then we have one under the anemone. A little laundry bag in here so you can ask celebrities to do some washing for you. And so there's a little bit here, a little bit of storage here, a little bit here, and then a little bit right at the bottom for really small people that are smaller than me to get right down there. There was plenty of space under the bed for your luggage. And here we have this cool little air conditioning unit controller. So, but it also controls, not just your aircon, but the lighting. So we can go for morning vibes, or just waking up in the morning, just opening your eyes, or for the evening, getting ready to go out maybe, or maybe settling down for the night, for actually probably more settling down for the night, I think this one. Movie night, which is kind of in front of the big screen, or sleep, which just leaves the little lamps on at the sides, or we can go crazy and turn everything off, which is a proper good night's sleep, we can go in between to have quite a cool setup or all the lights, full brightness. You can also control the lighting in the room through the Celebrity Cruises app. The safety instructions are on the back of your stateroom door. Our muster stage was on deck four near Cafe Albaccio. Just to let you know that life jackets are now available at your muster station instead of being kept in the wardrobe in your stateroom. Remember to make sure you let your steward know when you're sleeping. So now, we're going to step into the bathroom. Nathan's very excited about the bathroom. I'm very excited about the bathroom. We both are, because <laughs> we've never ever had a bathroom like this on any cruise, have we? Any type of cabin. I think the closest was Virtuosa. The closest was Virtuosa, but I think this bathroom is so big. It's unbelievable. You're going to find out if I can open it. <laughs> right, we're in. So, we start at the corner, we have the toilet, a regular toilet, you have to make sure you put the lid down before you flush, that's why the button's behind the lid, a little toilet brush in the corner. I don't think I recall seeing art in a bathroom before. Unless we've been oblivious. Unless we've been oblivious to it. Again, we've got some little cubbies up here, so one here. I don't know why you put, I don't know why you put it up so high all the time for, because they're making for giants. One here and one here. Two little glasses, which we'll probably use for our toothbrushes. Two hand towels, which is pretty cute. Underneath the sink, there was a spare box of tissues and a waste bin. Oh! oh. There's a drawer here as well. Oh, there's a hair dryer. So should you ladies forget your hair dryer, there is one in here, and this does actually look quite good. Might as well mine later. Another little cubby space here. Here we have a, I'm assuming this is a charger for electric razors or things like that. Got two face cloths or flannels as we call them in the UK or face cloths. Rather strangely, we have soap when they have body lotion in a pump. One of the amazing things about this bathroom is the sink. I mean, we probably could stand here and wash our hands together and brush our teeth together because it's like a trough. That's I think they're pigs. Does it work? It works. So yeah, it's quite good actually having a, because normally you're like, when well, you're shaving and you end up spilling it, but here, such a big sink, it's just a really nice area. But this has to be one of the most glorious showers I've ever seen. 
I will get inside and demonstrate for you. It's very spacious. If you forget to bring your toiletries, they do have some shampoo, conditioner, and shower gel. A little grab handle here to keep yourself safe when you're washing yourself, or if you're maybe got mobility issues, that's quite handy. Little wire tray to put your shower gels or soap bits or body mop things on. And the shower, which is quite funky, look at that. That's the right power shower, that does. So we have hooks, you can wash your washing up in here to dry, like your shorts or whatever if you want to. There's sometimes a retractable washing line, but this one hasn't got one, it looks like. It's got the hooks. So all in all, a very satisfactory bathroom. Uh, Nathan, you forgot the hooks on the back of the bathroom door. Also have some more cubbies up here. The mirror the other side, so high one, your middle one, and the low one. Yeah. So his and hers, or hers and his. Yeah. Little tissues to blow your nosey. One thing to note about cruise ship bathrooms is there's always normally a big step, so beware. So all in all, I can say we're very happy with this cabin so far, but we'll see how the week goes. Thank you for checking out cabin 10165 with us. See you next time.